Yo, Instagram, where is our blue check? I know. Where is our blue check, man? <laughs> we have the blue check on TikTok. Oh, we do? We oh, have okay, we have the we have the check on, on yeah. YouTube. Mm-hmm. But where's where's the blue check on Facts. Instagram? We still need that Facts. shit, bro. Once once I get a blue check, I'm a I'm a tattoo that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blue check that. Oh my god. Hey, it's like, oh you can actually see it. Yeah, this is the new tattoo. It's the new one. Mm. It's still it's still healing, so it's all scabby and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but that's hard. It's gonna heal. At first up. I didn't get it, but then the Raphael shit, I was like, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my whole idea with it. So yeah. my middle name is Carlos Rafael Juicy, Wico. Yeah, we, we have a sick. Why you always say juice or oh, it's Wico, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so Raphael, I was uh-huh. my dad actually named me after the Ninja Turtle. The Ninja Turtle? Yeah, yeah, and my mom just really liked the name too, Raphael. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I showed my mom the tattoo because uh-huh. I remember I showed her this one. She did not like it. That bro. one's crazy because it, w- it was a big piece for yeah. my first one. Right? <laughs> Loki, you should have got that one first and then got and the then big the one. smaller yeah, one. But you're like, fuck it, I don't go by the rules, man. No, because I know I know exactly what I wanted. Exactly. So I, I just got this and yeah. then I got this one after because I was still thinking on this one. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I'm glad I got it. Yeah, yeah. Fam. So I showed my mom, right? Uh-huh. And she was pissed off at this one. Oh, I showed wow. her. You know what I did? I, I was wearing a hoodie. So leading up to this day, mm-hmm. I kept telling her, Mom, what if what if I get a uh, a neck tattoo? What if <laughs> yeah, I get a yeah. neck tattoo? And I keep joking about it. Like, uh-huh. Just put mom. it in her mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna get a neck tattoo one day. What okay. are you what are you gonna do, mom? She's like, no, 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 let's do, do that. <laughs> like, I'm gonna get so right? Yeah. She's like that. So I got the tattoo. I mm. put my hood up. Like, mom, I got a new tattoo. No. <laughs> and then it's on my neck. It's on my neck. No. She, I saw her face. Yeah. Because she knew I was serious. Because when when I actually did something, mm-hmm. like my voice will sound real. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was leading up. And I'm like, ah, oh. now nah, it's right here. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> well, I think, I think that's smart for you because it's like, oh, even though I, if I got it on the neck, mm-hmm. it's like this one was the the really bad worst case scenario. Yeah. But then you're like, no, it's just on my arm. Yeah, that, that's, that's actually bad. a tactic you could do. Yeah. That's what people do sometimes. Mm-hmm. They'll tell you like something crazy. Yeah. And then like something a little bit less, mm-hmm. but the little bit less sounds manageable. Exactly. You know I mean? And I, I think like the, you had meaning. So I think in, when you're getting a tattoo, there's three things that you have to go by. Mm-hmm. So it's design placement and meaning mm. so it said if you can match two of them yeah like if you have a good design and a good placement then you won't regret it for the rest of your life yeah that's facts because yeah. if you went out there and got like a clown tattoo just because you're like scared of clowns that just looks so stupid on you mm, yeah but if, it, if it's a good design and good and placement good, yeah then it then it may kind of make sense that's you has to check like two two out of three boxes yeah, exactly. that makes sense exactly one tattoo i really wanted to get okay. was uh the hanya mask you know what that is what's that oh you don't know the what that hanya? is oh, I'm not sure you i think you said honda <laughs> no, no, no. So it's this. Oh, that shit looks scary. Is that um? What do you call it? It's not a devil. It's not a devil. Yeah, it looks like the devil. So when you look at it, what do you think it is? When at first glance, you know Hellboy. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah, yeah, reminds yeah, yeah. Me of Hellboy. So it's actually it's a girl. Oh shit! So there's a whole origin story about this. It's a yeah. whole like uh Japanese folklore. Mm-hmm. And what's crazy yeah. is the story. It actually has a date to it. Oh shit! What is so it? So I think. The year like 928. Mm-hmm. Like this is actually written, right? Okay. I could be wrong on the date, but I, I'm pretty sure 928. Yeah. Now it's a story of this really pretty woman, right? Okay. And one day she saw this like monk. Yeah. So monks, they're not allowed to what? They're not allowed to have relationships, so have sex, have like sex all of that yeah. stuff, right? She saw this monk and she's like, man, he's like really handsome. Right. She wants to like deal Do with it. that, you <laughs> know? Yeah. <laughs> so what she did she followed the monk home mm. and she saw him laying in his bed. What the fuck? She's like, mm. what the fuck? She, she started plotting in her head, right? Yeah. She's plotting in her head and she decided yeah. to sneak under his sheets. Oh, no. Nah. Right? Oh, nah. So what happened was the monk woke up. He's like, what, what's going on? Uh-huh. Who's this? Right? Yeah. And there was a huge temptation for him to obviously have sex with her, right? Because she's very pretty. Oh, I thought you were like, no, to fight her. No, her bro. Bed. No, bro. So, <laughs> that makes no sense. No, nah, okay. this is what happened. Like, okay. she she was like uh, inciting him. Or what's the word? Like uh, enticing. Seducing. Seducing, seducing, seducing okay. right? So he started getting like horny and shit, you know? Okay. But his morals, because yeah. he's a monk, he's like, nah, I can't. Can't. Like, yeah. So he refused her. Mm-hmm. And when she got refused, okay, she had this super 
dark energy in her turned her the horn, into that the horny demon yeah turned her into like a oh, demon into, like into a, a monster yeah, something because she was so furious mm. so that kind of story yeah it has such a dope like it's it's, it's, it's like a whole art piece right <laughs> yeah and honestly a lot of people get this when they get like um the whole japanese sleeve okay yeah just to complete it i think i want that tie just because okay. it looks cool too yeah. though i mean it has a rape undertone uh, to it but i mean get what you want you no know? actually the meaning of the mask yeah the meaning of the mask is hanya right now hanya actually means enlightenment and <laughs> wisdom enlightenment and wisdom enlightenment like oh my god monk i'm about to suck your dick <laughs> no, 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 i'm no. about to enlighten you <laughs> i'm pretty sure this was about though yeah. so no it is it is it is yeah. enlightenment and wisdom and i think it's meant to it's meant to tell the lesson of the monk that that yeah. refused no i'm telling you if we relate to post nut stuff like yeah. after you nut you get enlightened like <laughs> I, I remember one of my friends no told that's me, real no no one of my friends told me he's like if you're if you're getting to a relationship you should the girl should let the guy f like on the second third date because af that's when we get to know if we really like you mm. <clears throat> you feel me because that after after we we sit there and think like after we're like fuck we're tired we're thinking okay yeah i actually like this girl boom get out the way <laughs> and i swear like 90 percent of the relationships that work out long term in the first like three four days mm. you feel me that's i don't know yeah because some some people some people they, they're they definitely oh, yeah. after the for sure the other things you know if, what i mean if your girlfriend told you that she was going to be celibate would you still be with her would you just jerk off every day <laughs> i don't know bro it depends bro it, de it depends on the vibe and it yeah. depends on the person like if you really really love that person mm -hmm. yeah depends on the person right because yeah. i know there's some people that literally just can't have sex because of their their oh, organs yeah. or whatever yeah, for sure, right for sure. and it's literally just the connection yeah I know. Fuck, I was going to say something. Hold on. Yeah, I I'm going to go back to tattoos after, but yeah, go ahead. Fuck, wait, hold on. You just rest your... Oh, so my bad. <laughs> Damn. we both have adhd so that's how this shit works <laughs> like, okay, we, never we mind. Too quick. That, that's that's moving the past yeah, yeah. now <laughs> but you know who has some really crazy ass tattoos who so you know tom hank's son tom hank's son he has, he has a son i didn't even know yeah, that he has a son he probably has the craziest like art on his chest what does he have so i, I don't want to show you a picture i'll just describe it yeah so he has the all-seeing illuminati eye Whoa. in the middle of his chest what the fuck? right right beside it to the left yeah he has like these spikey germs what does that represent the bacteria coronavirus what's nah, happening right now chill, chill, and on chill. top on top of the illuminati he has w h o you know that what that represents world health organization world health organization on yo they're coming for i didn't say that oh, one listen, i listen. didn't say that one listen they, no actually i don't i was gonna call them out I was like i want smoke but, <laughs> but on the side he has yeah. a serpent with two uh, what do you call this? Oh, wait, the the snake going like this? Yeah, the snake with like the two, uh, what do you call those? The staff. The staffs. Mm, one I know what is, you're talking about. is the medical staff. So mm -hmm. I guess they're they're getting accused of how, uh, you know, big pharma? Yeah. The yeah, whole yeah, thing yeah. where it's like the big pharmaceutical companies yeah. are working against the public and they're like holding in medicines that could actually cure like really bad stuff. Yeah, like um the conspiracy about AIDS cure and exactly. all that. Yeah, 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 cancer, yeah. stuff like that. You know, he has that tatted on his chest wait he has what tattered on his chest the serpent with two with oh two so that's what that the represent. meaning is for it yeah oh so that's like a telltale clue that what the fuck that tom hanks is obviously part of it you feel me yeah and his i guess his, his son, son was like, his son like, son like, is like let me do this <laughs> or what if his son just wants attention because first of all i didn't even know tom hanks had a yeah. son yeah and the only reason you know he, he has a son is because of that of tom hanks so yeah. what if that's like his whole ploy of trying to be famous too mm. like, yo i got these yeah. tats man i'm that's Ooh, like we're not, <laughs> <laughs> that's the sorriest way you feel me because the shit how we do it, it you know if a person is in the illuminati mm. if he's not showing it off because we show mm. it off that we're like we're not in the illuminati yeah, yeah we're not in the illuminati show, show it, just because we throw show. up this shit doesn't mean it yeah you feel me do you know um in yakuza like culture oh yeah like japanese gangs yeah they actually skin their foes to take their their tattoo Almost like a huh? pelt, bro. And then, like, they knit it on their shoulders. Nah, <laughs> take like, this take, no, 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 no. So, so you know how they have, like, the whole, almost like a kimono full yeah, of tattoos? Yeah, yeah, Their whole body, right? Uh -huh. All the way down to, like, their butt and their legs. Okay. So, for some people, <laughs> or for some gangs, like, if they want to, if they want to, show off like they took out this leader or this mm. gang boss. Yeah. They'll skin them and keep their, their skin of no. the artwork 
as like a trophy. No, nah, that's actually fucked. So like as a poster. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually that's fucked. messed up. That's actually fucked. I guess in Western culture, it's the tattoo. Because mm. once you kill someone, you put a tattoo. It's like, oh, a tear represents- Oh, a teardrop. Like, yeah. Do you think that's true? Do you think people yeah. really get teardrops because they yeah, kill someone? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I think, um, I don't know if I ever said this on the podcast, but okay. there's a few other like things you can't get tattooed. Okay, Did we talk what? about this? Um, No, I said what names you couldn't get. I don't think we, we told about the tattoos you couldn't get. Yo, okay. So I'm pretty sure there's like, there's like, five or six tattoos that you cannot get tatted on your body okay because it represents something like really really bad okay bet. so one of them is a four leaf clover what oh no wait is it a four leaf clover no it's a three leaf clover it's just okay. a shamrock a shamrock okay okay so no regular person yeah. should tattoo a shamrock on their body why uh -huh. because in in the prison systems especially in america yeah it's connected to a lot of the Irish gangs. Mm. And if they see that tattoo on you, yeah. you'll be, yo, this is even in, you know, TSA? Yep. There's a whole document on TSA of tattoos you should look out for oh, and shit. tattoos that match the certain gang. Yeah. <laughs> so if you ever see a, a very common one, yeah. cobwebs, if somebody has cobwebs tattooed on them. Yeah, what is that for? It means they spent time in prison. Oh, for real? Yeah, so a tattoo of cobwebs near like your shoulder, yeah. near your elbow, whatever, it actually represents, the bigger the cobweb, okay. the longer you spent time in, in prison. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, a lot of kids are getting cobwebs just, right now. Just because it's popular. Yeah, because it's, it's like popular. spider, thug, young thug, mm -hmm. you know? But not a lot of people know it's because of that. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. And is, is, yeah. is skeletons one a part of it? Because a lot of kids are getting like skull you know how they draw the the limbs of a skeleton on their on their actual hand that's no popular too. I, I don't think that's part of it though. okay good but that good. one that one's pretty cool though yeah, i kind of yeah, like yeah. that <laughs> that's some ghost rider shit yeah yeah well, one of the other ones yeah you shouldn't ever get a clown tattooed on you okay yeah i don't think anyone's doing that shit. so a clown actually means you're i think you're serving a life sentence. Oh, no. Nah. I think that's what it means. I think that's what it means. You're serving you're like a, a life clown? sentence. You're yeah. a clown. You threw your life away. You're yeah. a clown. I'm pretty sure. I, I could be wrong, but okay. like a clown tattoo represents that. And, you know, barbed wire. Oh, barbed wire? Barbed wire. I think that also represents you're serving a life sentence. Yeah, that makes sense. So you shouldn't get in. that. You you're shouldn't trapped get. in for the rest of your life. Yeah. yeah. But a lot of people just get it just because it looks nah. cool. If you ever want to get away with murder, mm -hmm. you should go to... Um, get away with murder? Yeah. There's a place you can go like 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 a Costco? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so in the United States, Ye Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone. Oh, I heard of this before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's like a little zone. And that zone is called, I think, the death zone. Mm -hmm. So... Whenever there's a crime, you have to go to the court, right? And there has to be a jury, yeah. right? And that jury has to live in the same state and same district. The, the, there's a loophole, that's why. Mm -hmm. It's like that zone, the, no one lives in that district. So mm. anyone, anyone that commits murders, anything there yeah. gets away with it because there's there, there can't be no jury. Mm. Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. Because like if, if, it's, if it's on each side of the state, then yeah. that's like the sliver yeah. that everything's legal. Mm -hmm. I think it's like Mississippi, Idaho, and something else. Is there like between borders that. on the floor so you can see like, <laughs> don't step into this shit? Yo, you want to do it as like, we go there and then we just do a, a dash we run bro, across but what it. if people are waiting there yeah no i was like what if people just camp yeah bro what if you like there's there should be like some next urban yeah. legend of some guy wearing like a costume or something exactly. in the middle just of the woods roaming. right just because he has nothing better to do yo that's a red flag then so yeah. if, if anybody's like driving you down the area <laughs> just know like you have to trust them you're yeah. reaching that end I, I don't even think there's like roads there it's just like all desert oh it's it desert sh it I should be yosemite isn't that like national park though yosemite isn't that w where it is word i don't know i think I think that's what it is yeah. i think that's what it is you ever heard of um there's something similar kind of to like that yeah but it's wait, not in, uh, in new york oh wait is it is it like the it's a it's a park where everyone usually gets like stabbed and like no one everyone gets away with it no 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 no. i'm thinking something else okay i'm thinking of um fuck is it idaho i think it's idaho yeah, it's close to idaho yeah i think we're talking about the, we're same, talking thing. About the same thing yeah yellowstone Bro, park. so take this in right there's this woman she uh -huh. lives in the middle of idaho in like borderlands fucking yeah nobody's there desert right <laughs> okay bro this is literally the wild west yeah it's literally the wild west there's no cops around okay for the next like say five kilometers yeah. 10 kilometers anything right uh -huh. now she lives by herself in this ghost town okay so i think she moved from like seattle or something she's like okay i want to i want to move down here and make my own community uh -huh. so there's a there's a vice documentary on her oh shit. she's living by herself right yeah and she said she had experiences where 
she'd be so scared uh-huh. because she's by herself and if strangers come by they see her her ghost town yeah they think it's what abandoned exactly right they don't know that she's living there mm-hmm. and she said this one story Boy. how she saw this truck pull up oh no nah. and on the truck there was a confederate flag oh no nah. yeah and these guys with guns like came to check out the whole area and she, she she didn't say the entire story because yeah. she said it's like very traumatic to her. Uh-huh. But ever since that day, she said she had to get a gun to protect herself. Mm-hmm. You have to. And you're in Idaho. Yeah. Li- Texas, no, literally, you need a gun. Literally in freaking the wild west. Yes, bro. bro the yes. wild west. Yes. So I think her neighbor or something like trained her how to shoot and all of oh, that. Oh, fuck. So yeah. she's a, a, what do you call this? Every, every Yo, it's Mad there. Max. You ever watch oh, Mad, yeah, Max? Mad Max? Yeah. It's pretty much yeah, like that. So I remember, um, remember I got catfished on Discord? Yeah. By that girl? Do you ever have those ones where it's like you're driving home and then you think a car is following you because he's, he's taking the same turns? What do you mean? Like, so right after that situation happened, yeah, she said she said she was from Toronto, right? Mm-hmm. And then we'll, boom, we blew her cover. The next day, I went out and I remember FaceTiming, FaceTiming the Jumpers Jump people. Yeah. Because like, yo, yo, I think this car is following me, mm-hmm. right? So I was driving, I was driving and there was this white, I think white Sprinter van. That was Sprinter van? Yes. Oh, was like, that's a red flag, bro. I was bro. like, yo, what the f***? <laughs> Why is this happening to me? Am yeah. I that dumb? So I, I'm taking a left into my neighborhood Mm -hmm. and it takes the same left. So I stop, I'm like, okay, he's he's been following me for a a little bit. I stop and I don't take the right to my house. I keep going straight. Mm -hmm. He follows me straight, right? And I'm I'm driving, I'm driving. He's like, okay, if he turns left on this one, I'm I'm calling my friends. Cause this is kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I turn left into like, like Altona. So that means there's nothing there for me. Nothing there. Yeah. He turns left. Oh, I'm like, oh shit. my god. So what happened? No, so I keep driving, I keep driving. I FaceTime the guys. I'm like, yo, I can I'll run out of gas. I'm not stopping at my place. Yeah. Right? The whole time, the whole time. I t- I do a U-turn, he does a U-turn with me. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh thank God. Oh, so he I'm doesn't. Like, he doesn't. But like he was taking all the same turns that I was taking at, at one point. He caught on to that you knew. Yeah, that that maybe he was following me. Because you know when you're walking at night and you see a girl, yeah, you kind of like the, the main thing is like you stay away so you don't creep her out oh yeah you yeah, ever do that, that just, makes it's sense just for yeah. like is it common courtesy yeah for courtesy that makes sense yeah because yeah. you never want to scare somebody exactly, like that exactly and i feel like yo i feel bad for all those people that get caught in those prank videos bro oh my goodness especially the ones where you know the clown ones or the people <laughs> hiding under the bridge and yes, shit bro. damn you know that's messed I, up bro i knew i was so i was so focused on knowing if there's a prank or something because this old guy because <laughs> this old guy came up to me in um in Scarborough Town Center. Yeah. And he was like, Can you read this for me? And I think I told you this before. It was a name tag with um with a like you know when you say the a couple words that it sounds like something stupid. It sounds stupid. like something stupid. It's like, like Seymour Butts. Or yeah, something. Seymour yeah, yeah. Butts. He was like, Can you read this for me? I'm like, I look around first. I'm yeah. like, is there is there cameras? And I was like, it's an old guy. He probably doesn't know how to like a camera. Mm-hmm. So I read it and he's like, uh, oh, I spank me or something like that. And oh, he, like, he said that. Yeah, yeah he, he spanks himself and goes away. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Am I in a simulation right now? That didn't feel real. <laughs> like, you know, do you ever find those like NPC player, like non-player characters? Dog, like, all, all my life, man. Yes. All my life I've been I've been passing yeah. around these NPCs. It's weird. It's me, weird. me and Josh, we call them sick people. Like they're sick. They're people? sick. <laughs> <laughs> they're filler characters <laughs> me and my friend just call them fillers man no like you, you have like sick tendencies right? i mean that guy's sick <laughs> like that's all we have to say yeah. like me and josh, me and josh we just know like somebody's oh that's a sick guy <laughs> <laughs> oh we just know we just know yeah. bro there there's one of the craziest npcs i ever seen okay is you know Oshawa Town Center, bro? Yes, that's the weirdest one. I'd never go there. I, I think I told you about this before. Okay. Have you ever seen the NPC guy wearing bunny ears? What? You ever see that guy? No. Bro. Wait. There's this guy at Oshawa Town Center, fam, that always walks around with bunny ears. Yeah? Just like random bunny ears just walking around, bro. Word. And he's just there wearing bunny ears for no... It's not just because it's Easter. Yeah. It's just like... It, it could be summer. It's still wearing the bunny ears, <laughs> bro. Bunny ears. Yeah. But you know who I see around too? In in, in like our hometown? Mm. The guy who runs, who jogs all the time. 
You definitely cool. know him. What? You haven't seen him? The guy who is always jogging. No matter winter, summer. Oh, this guy's like Rocky. Yeah. He'll always jog. Yeah? Yeah. You I, know, I haven't seen that guy. The guy, he's like, he's white. He has like a beard. He he kind of has like uh, missing hairs. Nah, Slick I haven't. Back. I haven't. People, yeah, people in my hometown will know. You know what, bro? I'm yeah. so tempted. Whenever I see these things, I'm so tempted to go up to them at, and like talk to talk? them. Because what if it breaks the simulation? What if it's like a sign? Like I'm supposed to go there and figure out what's going on. <laughs> it's you know like, I mean? As soon as you're talking to them, and you give them like a, a dialogue yeah and it doesn't match them like the system breaks the yeah, system like, breaks yeah <laughs> like they pass out the whole simulation like you've unlocked yeah. it <laughs> congratulations you start seeing symbols in the sky he like, opens up a portal these are your key out bro like the, cl the clouds form congrats carlos <laughs> that'll be fucking crazy yeah. bro you know what's one thing that's super stressful bro what dealing with debt oh 100 that's like the worst thing you can fall into mm -hmm. and it sucks when your debt is super high interest so i have a solution for you okay bet shout out to our sponsor upstart yes sir you can say goodbye to those high interest credit card debts mm -hmm. and move a step closer to financial freedom okay that's very clutch so we've all been here out of nowhere you guys get hit with an unexpected bill and then you know when that happens it feels like the weight of the world is coming down on you and it's not normal to know where to turn but Lucky for us, Upstart's got our back. Upstart powered personal loans can help you pay down high interest debt all online with simple and easy to understand payment terms. So Upstart knows more than just your credit score. Upstart's model considers other things such as your income, employment, and other information provided in your loan application to find you a smarter rate for your loan. You can check your rate in minutes for loans between 1,000 and 50,000 without impacting your credit score. So don't wait and check your rate today at upstart.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. The link will be down below in the description. Make sure to click it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yo, so going back to, um, it's actually coming Easter now. I just oh, bagged it? that. It's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like Easter season. Bad, bad, bad. So there's this story. Uh huh. You ever heard about the bunny man? No, the bunny man. <laughs> Nah. Nah. <laughs> so the bunny man yeah this is a true story okay. about this guy that escaped from a mental asylum oh so shit. there's this town i think it's in it's either in europe mm. yeah i think it's in europe there's this town and it's right beside a mental asylum yeah right and for a long time there was petitions like can we move the mental asylum because it's too close to the city yeah it's way too close why why do we have that there mm. all the citizens are like I'm scared. Like, I don't want somebody to, to break out, break right? Out, yeah. So what happened was the government listened. Okay. And then they transferred all of the inmates, right, mm. to move to another facility. Okay. So what happened was this bus, mm. they packed up all of the inmates into this asylum bus. They're driving down and it crashes. Okay. So when it crashes, Everyone. all of them escape. <laughs> They run out and like, we're free, bro. <laughs> they run. Yeah. So all of them ran out, right? Uh -huh. And it took like a couple hours for everybody to get gathered together. Oh, they actually got, got everyone yeah, back? Yeah, they got all of the inmates back except for one. Oh, shit. The and I man. think his name was Dave Griffin, something like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> something, something Griffin. Now, this guy, mm. supposedly, once he escaped yeah. around the city, there were sightings of these dead bunnies on the floor nah. these dead bunnies and people are wondering like what what's killing these bunnies right yeah. now it makes sense because he doesn't have any money mm. he doesn't have a, a means to survive yeah. he would probably try and eat whatever animals he could find right and it happened to be the bunnies there so he yeah. was eating the bunny meat mm -hmm. but bunny carcasses all over the city what the fuck now what's crazy is there was this tunnel yeah this tunnel near the city okay and i think it was halloween night right <laughs> And these kids were walking down the aisle yeah. or like towards this tunnel and they see a man there. Okay. And they get closer and closer yeah. and like, oh, it's, it's whatever. Like it's Halloween, right? Yeah. And they're closer to the guy and he's wearing what? A bunny costume. He's wearing a bunny costume, bro. It's <laughs> Halloween. The, it's the, Halloween. The guy in the Oshawa Mall. Fam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Halloween. He's wearing yeah. a bunny costume, right? Yeah. He walks by, walks by and all of a sudden. He takes out a machete nah. to kill them. Oh, no. Nah. Right? So two of the boys were murdered and one of them got away. Mm. Now, police came to the sighting. Yeah. Right? And they all they saw were the two bodies mm -hmm. left on the floor as carcasses 
just like the bunnies they saw around the city. Oh my! And to this day, they still haven't found found the bunny man. They still haven't found the quote unquote Holy bunny man. Smokes, and he's man. still wandering the streets today. Nah, nah, th- wait, where is this? Where is this? I Canada? think it, it's United either in States? Europe or okay. somewhere in the states. I know, I, I know, it's somewhere there. <laughs> uh, why does all the crazy shit happen in the states? There's some crazy shit in Canada too, bro. I mean, yeah, we have the Pickering Boys last story, but that's like mostly it. There's more, fam. We I don't pick- have a bunny man. That's crazy. Okay, the bunny man is different. <laughs> that that sounds like a fake story. No, this is like this. That's that ass real. That's real, bro. Holy smokes! But it sounds stupid because why the fuck were you yeah. like? Because <laughs> like even the plot, like when they when the bus crashes and and uh, how they all scattered. Mm-hmm. You know how like you kill a big spider and all the little spiders go. Oh out? yeah 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 yeah. It's like that, have you bro. seen that in real life? Yeah. Oh no, I haven't yet. Yo, that shit is terrifying. Yeah, you bro. seen it? So I was um I was at my Lola's house right, yeah. and I didn't see when you kill a big spider and they all spread out. <laughs> I saw the egg like hatch what so it was a small ass egg like maybe the size of my pinky like yeah. this and then i'm like okay no way like hella spiders can fit in that yeah it pops open boom it's like hundreds and hundreds, hundreds. of spiders like spilling through yeah but but the fact that they caught all of the inmates mm-hmm. was kind of crazy yeah they, 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 that's just kind of they're on the grind man yeah. they're on their grind <laughs> Because after the, the after, bunny man's just smart, bro. After after you go, uh, after you exit the bus, where are you going first? Because the first thing I think I, I'm gonna go is like the underground tunnels. Because mm. they're probably not looking down below. Maybe that's where you they, hit. They have, yeah. they have they have helicopters everywhere, shit like that. Mm. But the bunny man couldn't go to like a coffee shop and like get something. Like he had to go for bunnies. <laughs> like I don't know. Why? Bro. Why? Wait, wait, time out. Why was there so many bunnies in the area? That's just like the wilderness, man. That's just the I wilderness. Can't. I'm just trying to rationalize it for fun. <laughs> that's the wilderness. Yeah. If 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 you're if you're starving in person yeah. on some Hunger Games like Katniss Everdeen shit yeah. you're gonna be eating squirrels bro that's I'd true. be eating squirrels too <laughs> that's true I'd be eating like mushrooms on the floor yeah. right you know what I mean <laughs> did you hear that story where it's like a guy was gonna be robbed in their house but the robber like got found he's like oh shit I got you right and, then, he's like, and then he started <laughs> he started roasting the guy's house he's fuck? like man what the fuck is it rinky dink ass house man like I'm not I'm not even trying to rob this no more <laughs> put back his mask and ran away yo you know there's like um you know there's like signs? You're gonna say gonna that? transition to that shit, man. <laughs> but there's signs, yeah, to know if someone is targeting your house. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So the first one, the first one is like, if you start getting random ads, like, you know those door hanging ads? Mm. That means that, oh, if you take it out when you go in, that indicates to the robber that you're at home. So they can't rob No, it's it. not just one. It's like many. Yeah, you, many, you have to get most of them. Yeah. And robbers, I guess, they tend to form like groups. So they leave the symbols. You probably know these symbols mm. uh, in, in front of the person's house. So one of them, it's the letter D. So the letter D is yeah. it's too risky to rob. Don't rob the house. And then uh, a square with an X in it yeah. is it's it's good to go. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It's good to rob. And then I think a square, oh no, a circle with an X yeah. is that means like, oh, there's nothing worth stealing in the house. But if there's two squares on top of each other, that means the, the owners are very weak, which means that it's good to go, good to rob. Oh, like they, they can't fight back? Yeah, they thing? can't fight back. Like invasion? Yeah. Home invasion? I know. And then if you ever find, if you ever have like a mattress in the beginning of your house mm-hmm. and you lift it up and there's a cookie or cracker, call the police right away because that means they were about to rob it. They were just testing if you were home because if you step on it, Boom, that means they're home. They're oh, because if they step on like the crumbs, it will break exactly. apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. There's a, there's a lot of those too with um with vehicles. Like, oh, vehicles? Not a lot of people know about this. I don't know about so, this. So if you ever see like your car, right? Yeah. And then you see like some crazy shit on your car. Let's say like a post-it note. Yeah. That's, that looks weird. Even like a sticker. Mm-hmm. So criminals, yeah. they'll put stuff on your car. Yeah. So you'll try and unlock your car. Uh-huh. And then when you sit down, you see like a sticker on my windshield. Why is there a sticker on my windshield? Okay. Exit your car and you try and peel it off, peel it off. Uh-huh. A sticker takes long as fuck to, to peel off, uh, right? I know this, yeah, I've heard of so this. So the criminals, when they see you working on it, mm-hmm. boom, yeah. hit you in the head, yeah. push you off, take your whip because your keys are in yeah. the car and exactly. it's unlocked. Exactly. That, that happens a lot in parking lots because that's when, empty parking lots specifically, because mm-hmm. that's when no one can save you. Like you're just there doing a sticker. Like, yeah, bro, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's easy. That's empty, easy empty parking lots. Yeah. That's why you should always like park near another car yeah. or at least park under like a light, especially exactly. if it's dark. Yeah. And there's another one. It's like, this is the unobvious one. It's like if a white van has a chain attached to the back so like no one can escape. That's What even, the fuck? That's, no, no. That's, that's 
the easy. That's red flag, bro. Yeah, but people don't really know this because they don't. They're like, oh, what is that? Ch- that little chain mm. at the back. You feel me? But no, somebody could be in there being trafficked. You know, being kidnapped, stuff like that. Now the biggest red flag. Yeah. This is the biggest. If you guys see this, yeah, this is exactly what it is. Okay. Look, so. You'll see white vans, right? All the time. You'll okay. see white vans, big white vans. Yeah. And that's a common like, oh, it's a pedophile yeah. van, whatever, right? <laughs> pedophile van, but yeah. to know if it's actually a pedophile van, okay. if you look at the door uh-huh. and there's no handle on the door. No handle. Okay. Then it really is a pedophile, a pedophile van. Or like meant for kidnapping mm. because you can't open you it. You can't open it. But yeah. Remember that story when Eric and, and Brandon got jumped by those guys and they 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 were like, yo, give me your bikes. And then like, yeah, take it. Yeah, take it. yeah. Yeah. I think that it, the van was white and had no thing. Oh, so it was yeah. like a trap van. Exactly. It was meant for that. Yeah. Do you ever hear about that guy? He like, he made his own tank. What? He made his own tank and then he went on like a whole rampage in no. the States. No? No. What is it? Bro, so this this guy he had like hella like hella guns like a huge arsenal of of stuff right yeah and i think he wanted to do like a final stand okay he wasn't right in the head obviously yeah, yeah. but he made his own tank that's fun. like he bulletproof this this car oh, no. and then he like put like turrets and all that like turrets? shooting positions shooting positions so he could shoot but he couldn't get shot at oh nah yeah and he made like a final stand bro nah. I th- you're more on like the dark side of that shit cause you know those people who turn their vans into like mini homes <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. the shit I'm on very, I see those I see very those. wholesome yeah <laughs> but nah another red flag that I thought you were gonna bring up is like but if a mm. bla- if a black sprinter comes yeah. by, your, by your car duck immediately duck talk because <laughs> one of me and my friends like uh biggest fears is yeah. like when we're at a stoplight and someone comes up to us mm-hmm. and like oh like and we get shot like through the window or some shit like that but yeah that's that's like our biggest fear and i was in um rex still remember i told yeah, you yeah as soon as soon as i park my car fam turn off the engine i was like oh man this is a bad area but I- i'm gonna keep i'm gonna be ready right as soon as i turn it off a guy we make eye contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, boss, boss. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he comes closer to the car. As soon as he steps close to my car, mm-hmm. I start the engine. And then he's kind of like backing off, backing off. Yeah. But then he's like, yo, phone call, phone call, phone call. And I'm like, bro, like, come mm, on, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to give you my phone. You're going to run away. I know how this shit works. But in my my heart, bumping. You know me, mm-hmm, man. Mm-hmm. So I was like, nah, nah, go go away. He's like, no, I need a phone call. I was like, I'm, I'm count down to three. If you don't, I'm going to run you over. Like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not about to play this with you. Boom. Uh, he gets, he steps away from the car. He's like, all right, fuck you. All right, go away. <laughs> you got to be smart in those, in those situations, oh man. Oh my God. Like anytime, sometimes when you're in that position, like you don't realize you're in danger. Yeah. And that's the worst thing. You don't want to be like unaware. Mm-hmm. That's why whenever I, let's say I'm going to the store or whatever, yeah. once in a while, I'll check my back, check yeah. my back. Cause some people, they're just walking around on their floor, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. But those are the people that yeah. they target, bro. Yeah. <laughs> It's so funny because remember we were at the parking lot yeah. and we came home from uh, the karaoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the way it, we were going into an empty parking lot and Carlos told me, he's like, just don't l- walk like you like you're a target. Mm-hmm. So he, this guy busts down the do- this guy busts down the the parking lot door <laughs> and like like God damn. No, because look, was- if people are waiting there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the way you did it was so funny. He was like he was like boom like a movie and he he started like you know that hop you do. <laughs> like you I don't started- hop, bro. No, no, trust me. I was laughing. <laughs> inside but no one was there so everything yeah. was good but the way you busted through that door and started like your swag walk it was like <laughs> yeah nah, no one's gonna rob us <laughs> i don't do that. you do you do it if, i actually if, do that if, if, if there was security cameras it was so funny fam whatever because i was bro. behind you i was behind whatever you. <laughs> no but realistically if people were waiting there for someone to get robbed like all you hear is a douche if, if i walk in the door like <laughs> yeah <laughs> You feel me? No, then, nice. then you're gonna be a, you look like a target, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> bro, the swag that, bro. walk, the swag walk is so crazy. It was like dead ass. I was watching your WWE entrance. <laughs> that is, you're exaggerating. I, sw- I swear exaggerating. it was like that, Carlos. I swear it was like that. I remember. <laughs> I think I told this on the story okay. on, on the podcast before. Yeah, but. I was walking in the hallways one time. Yeah. And then I swing my I don't know if you noticed, I swing yeah, my that, arms that's a lot. What I'm saying. Like it looked like that. I swing my arms a yeah. lot. And then this gym teacher came by. Uh-huh. And I accidentally like because my arms swing so much, <laughs> I bumped into him. You but when him. I bumped into him, my fist oh, slapped it him. hit right in his balls, oh, bro. My God. And then 
his it, he like made a noise. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's got me the mic. Read the Roblox. Oh, what's the Roblox noise? The yeah. Oof. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Oof. <laughs> but yeah, so some stuff like that. It's like it triggers fight or flight. But I have three. I have three. It's fight, flight, and just freeze. <laughs> <laughs> and I usually go into freeze because I, I remember. Yeah. I, I remember one time too. Uh, it was my birthday, mm-hmm. and my my uh, cousins were planning like a birthday dinner, right? Mm-hmm. And do you know that the restaurant by the marina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the one that barely anyone goes to no more because it got renovated and like it's a new person. Yeah. So we went in there and we were making reservations and and they were like, oh yeah, yeah, just come, just come, because nobody's here. Mm. <laughs> so we didn't even have to re- make reservations. We went in. They took us upstairs, right? Upstairs is like an attic. So imagine the quietness and like silentness of an attic. So it was like private dining. Yeah. yeah. But it's it was like. You know that silence where it's uncomfortable? Why? Why is it uncomfortable? No, it's like too silent. Like, you know where it's like, it's just bland. No music in the background is playing. So in your head, like the, the hereditary music's that playing? Has, that has, no, <laughs> but, but it was so scary. Like yeah. the whole restaurant was just, it was downstairs. The people were downstairs and mm. we were upstairs. So we're like, what the fuck? Do we fake something to get out? So it was funny because I was like, yo, let's just go Korean barbecue. Yeah. So we called the Korean barbecue place in the restaurant set oh, a reservation and, you dipped? and then and then it was everyone going out of the restaurant we had to pass the owner the owner's like the owner's like oh uh why are you guys leaving and he asked me and you know <laughs> i was like and, then, <laughs> and my, my cousin was like oh no there's an emergency there's an emergency <laughs> but you see me i'm like <laughs> <gasps> I could never do that. I could. I could it's never. So embarrassing. I would never want to do. That. I don't know. They, they, I know. I have like a pride in myself that like I don't want to like exactly. dip because it makes me look like I can't afford it. Or exactly. Something. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Or when like your 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 car declines. Your car declines yeah, in front of your girl or some shit. It's like oh <laughs> fuck. <laughs> No, the worst, the worst is uh, my sister. What? So one time she ordered, I think, skip the dishes or something, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know this. Skip uh, the dishes, you can pay cash. Huh? I didn't know that. Oh, I didn't know fire. that. That's kind of fire. So like pay at the door, right? Yeah. So this is when like we were down bad. This was like early high school. <laughs> okay. This was, So I was coming home mm. and then I came home. My sister, oh, I ordered, I ordered blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Right? And then the skip the dishes lady came to the door. Okay. So... I hear her walking to the door. I hear in her pockets. Yeah, all this change in her change, pockets. Hella change. So she gets her order like it was Wendy's or something. Oh my and then she's holding her hands like this. Oh, like, nah. Here you go. <laughs> Look, it, it looks like a coin laundry. It's just all coins. Man. Yeah, and she just drops in her hand. Like, how's she going to count that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> my mom does that. My mom does that when, you, when you're paying. Like, mm. whatever leftover coins, if it's like $5, she'll count Oh, she'll, she'll put out. Yeah, and then I'm like, bro, just give it a $5 bill, man. It's, it's so easy. <laughs> I think but it's an Asian thing still. It is, it, it is an Asian thing. But I think for, for females, especially because they have a purse, they don't yeah. want to carry all that change. True, facts. Cause, and another awkward thing, and like the worst shit ever, like secondhand embarrassment, mm. is when you're buying condoms. Oh my God. <laughs> Whatever. What, what's your go-to? If you buy, do you buy it alone or do you buy it with something? I always, I, t- I said this before on the podcast. I you bu- did? Yeah, I bought, I bought with gum, bro. Okay. I bought with gum, but the lady's still new and she's like, yeah. have fun. See, no, I, <laughs> If I'm a cashier, I'm I'm scanning it and yeah. not making it awkward. I think the most awkward thing is when you like, oh, oh, okay, okay, buddy, I see you or mm. some shit like that. Don't say that shit to me. <laughs> that that's what she said to you me, bro. Me? She said, "Yeah, have fun." Yeah, that's why it's blessed with like self checkout. Easy. Yeah, self checkout. Self checkout. Yeah. You don't have to worry about on any of that bullshit, bro. Because whenever I buy condoms and I have to go up to somebody, yeah. I always buy like I guess something else. You mm-hmm. know, mouthwash. The main one is like chips. You feel me? <laughs> something <laughs> something cheap because I don't care about the chips. I only care about the condoms. I always go with gum. Like gum? that's that's because you is, can't yeah. go wrong with gum. Yeah, you can't. You can't. But what's up? Uh, you know those packs of gum? It's like in the whole like long ass container oh. like this. Never buy those, bro. Yeah, why? The worst gum you can buy. What? I don't know why. What the hubba bubba? It's always stale. The hubba bubba. No, the, the the gum that's in like the sheets, and then it has like four packs in the in the sheet. Oh, talk about those. Like the plastic, XLs? like XLs. It's Excel, but like it's no, it's like a whole bag of Excel. Oh, I, yo, I never know buy. Ne- I'm gonna save y'all's life right now. Never yeah. buy those gums. Yeah, yeah. Or like the big pack. Might as well mm. buy individual. Facts. Because if you buy those ones, I don't know for <laughs> some reason. I guess nobody ever buys it. Yeah, it's always stale, bro. You know bro. they sell those in the airport a lot. And they make bank because oh. everybody everybody wants to buy gum, so they chew it. And like on the airport, they don't get the the, the ear ears, popping. The yeah, ear popping. yeah, yeah. Do you believe in that? Um, you know the anti nausea 
like wristband thing. What is it? So no. a lot of people when they fly, yeah. they, they wear this like anti nausea wristband. That's placebo, bro. It's <laughs> placebo. It has to be placebo, right? It has to be. So it's like this um it's like this white plastic and then it's like a, a black band. A black but it's supposed band. to be like a pressure point. Like if you if you just press here, okay, then you won't be nauseous. Nah. You but they so sell it as anti nausea for flights. It, wait, this is sold at the airport. Yeah, it's sold okay, at the yeah. airports. They sell that shoppers drug mart, all that stuff. Airports make so much money just based on like they have uh, what do you call this designer watches all that while you're passing through like mm. bro does anybody actually shop in there except for like actual rich people no they you know why <coughs> why because it's all uh, duty free bro oh duty free no yeah. but that's a separate store I'm talking about wait is everything duty free like at the I'm airport? pretty no. sure like most of okay okay because I know the designer watch and like the bag section yeah isn't like duty free there's a there's a certain section for that mm. yeah I know I know there's um. There's always like a hella lot, like like there's a lot of fucking duty yeah. frees like everywhere. Okay, it's not just one spot. Yeah, it's like one cashier, one cash there, one okay. cash there, and you can buy like chips or whatever. Mm. You can buy all that stuff. True, true, true. But I think what it is at the airport. Yeah, uh, I forgot who it was. I think it was Future that said it. Okay, like if you go to the if you go to the the airport, mm -hmm. it's like going to the club. Really? Because everybody has money dresses nice like like if i'm going to oh. airport i'm gonna dress nice because you never know who you're gonna see at the airport at least mm. his airport at least his airport that's a that's a good one because for us we're, who are we gonna see people in yeah. sweats you feel yeah, me yeah but for them they see like i might, I might run into gucci man no, i might run sure. into blah blah blah. so spring season's coming mm. and although everybody's spring cleaning yeah. one thing you have to take into account for is spring cleaning with your mental health so one thing you should also be doing this season is decluttering your mind of all those negative things that's bothering you yeah for sure and school season just ended so i can fresh reset mm. and what's the best way to do that is, is you talk about it oh yeah with your homie, somebody close to you, yeah. or what's even better mm -hmm. is to talk about it with a therapist. So shout out to our sponsor, Talkspace. Yes, I know sometimes it may feel like you're a little bit too shy to go out and try and find therapy. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. not a usual thing you're used mm -hmm. to, right? Yeah. A lot of people push it off. Yeah, exactly. So Talkspace makes it easy for you. So Talkspace is an app where you can match with any of their online licensed therapists what? and schedule a live session whenever you need that FaceTime. So with 24 seven text, audio, and video messaging, Talkspace lets you talk to a licensed therapist without setting up an appointment. They have thousands of therapists across dozens of specialties. And once you match with your therapist, you can give them a call whenever you need them, anytime and anywhere. So Talkspace is private, secure, and most important, it's accessible. It's everything you love about therapy without stuff getting in the way. So if your thoughts and emotions are piling up, a fresh perspective can make you feel better. Match with your dedicated therapist today at Talkspace.com and use our promo code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, during sign up to get a hundred dollars off your first month that's a hundred dollars at talkspace.com using our promo code jumpers the link will be down low in the description make sure to click okay so scamfluencers is a new weekly podcast series that tells unbelievable true stories behind some of the world's most infamous scammers private jets five-star restaurants expensive champagne how could they afford the luxury lifestyle in today's world the power of influence can be the quickest path to money and fame but what happens when it's all built on lies? Scamfluencers unpack extravagant accounts of deception with co-hosts Sarah Hagi and Sachi Cole who discover what drove these scammers to deceive others, why so many believe them, and how our culture allows them to thrive. Scamfluencers explores the stories of a fake Saudi prince who swindled millions from innocent people, a teenager in scrubs who posed as a doctor and conned elderly patients, and a Hollywood actor whose star role was running a massive Ponzi scheme. So each season of Scamfluencers will immense you in the shocking tale of a fraudster, their victims, and what happens when the facade comes crashing down. So go listen to Scamfluencers on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and Spotify. Or you can listen early and ad-free by joining Wondery Plus in the Wondery app. Uh, Did, okay, have you ever run into a famous person at the airport? Oh, okay. I have so a story too. I, I was flying to, I was flying to, um, what was it? Arizona. Okay. Who'd I you went see? to Arizona. But... Across from my gate. Yeah. I okay, I'm gonna give you the year. Okay. I think it was like 2009. 2009. 2009. That's the year, okay? Yeah, okay. So I'm sitting, I'm waiting, right? Mm -hmm. And I see the other gate to Hawaii, right? Oh, shit. Now I see this, this kind of shorter fellow, not yeah. too short. Yeah. Kevin Hart. No, <laughs> no, no, oh, no. Let me guess. Let me, shorter fellow, like, describe him. Yes, he, he has a beard. beard. He's wearing sunglasses. He's posted up. 
Relax like this. Okay, but uh, ethnicity, give me something, bro. He's black. Black. Can't. He's not really short, but like, uh, he's kind of stocky, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> kind of stocky? No. Is he a UFC fighter? The only reason I recognized him oh, I <laughs> at the time, because I was nine years old, right? Okay. Was because of the Justin Bieber music video, Baby. Who did I see? Wait, um, uh. Luda. <laughs> Luda. <laughs> I saw Ludacris like no chilling, bro. No way. Yes, I saw Ludacris chilling. Did chillin'. you say hi? No, because I wasn't. I was like <laughs> shy, fam. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a dying, young ass dying. kid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know if I knew his name at the time. Yeah. To be honest, I don't know if I knew his name at the time, but it was Luda. Ludacris. Yeah. Are we going in the universe? <laughs> <laughs> when I was 13. <laughs> No, but he was like actually popping back then, so that's a proper time to meet him. Yeah, he was headed to Hawaii. Yeah, but I sh I should have I should have went on. <laughs> when I was a kid, man, I was a kid. Wait, was this an um? Because I know most celebrities, you get found in LAX. Because uh, what, what's our YYZ airport? Yeah, you found there's barely anyone. You see Raptors players, you see that. that mm. That's mostly it. But LAX is like you see bare people at LAX. Yeah, that's I don't like know. I don't I don't, I don't fly there much. So okay, okay, I wouldn't know. Yeah, because I seen I seen he was in my economy class yeah norman powell what yeah they were sitting like you know when everyone they didn't give them better flights no no i don't i don't i think they were on their like rookie contract oh okay <laughs> they were making bread but norman powell was sitting there like you know when everyone's waiting for yeah their, for their ride and i was like what the fuck that's norman powell and you know those ones where you like you sit and you kind of make the the oh i'm recording you but i don't want you to see motion yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of me and my me and all my cousins were like four and mm. we're all doing the same motion. <laughs> he looks up we're all like <laughs> we don't that's so that. obvious bro I you know. can't you can't go like this yeah the best way if you want to record someone without them knowing okay yeah yeah what's oh. up, what's up? <laughs> yeah now i'll be there i'll be there in like five minutes yeah <laughs> the guy dollar <laughs> That's what you do, bro. That's what you do. You, no. you just pretend you're talking to somebody. Because yeah. when you're talking to somebody, it's like you can get away with anything. <laughs> I don't know for some reason. Like whenever I see somebody on the phone, yeah. in my head, it's like automatic. You, you wanna... I can't touch them. Yeah. I can't touch them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's almost like AFK. Mm. Like, you, you know, you know, in GTA, when they go on passive mode yep. and they're like kind of invisible. Yeah. That's what it feels like anytime Fact. I see somebody on the phone. Yeah. No lie. If, if I don't want to get robbed, I think I should start going wearing suits everywhere and just and just have my phone like yeah you could do talking. that yeah because no one's gonna that. touch you i think i think one of the strategies for a girl to like make sure she's safe when she's by herself yeah. is always be on the phone and just be like yeah i'll be home in five minutes yeah. i'll be home soon blah yeah. blah because if let's say people are stalking her uh -huh. following her yeah. and they hear that oh man the guy's waiting mm -hmm. five minutes away yeah that's not a good sign oh my God. And so like, i'll pull back off <laughs> the main one i do too for very sneaky you put your phone here you have a backpack and you're like this and then you just you just <laughs> why do you know all these strategies bro no, no because i was like what the fuck people i i guess i just make it up i'm like oh no one's gonna expect me because i'm holding my back who are you phone. recording in high school bro yeah, whoa who are you recording in high school recording high school you have a backpack on why why did why did you automatically think high school because you have a backpack on <laughs> <laughs> Why else do you have a backpack on, bro? University, fam. I'm I'm in the subway. Oh, you feel me? Come on, man. No time. That's that how you know up. I've been away from school yeah. that long. Cause I don't. <laughs> That's how you know I'm a dropout because I, I don't even talk about backpacks anymore. Yeah, do you miss it? Miss school? Yeah. Hell no. Okay, like, do you miss like some parts of it? I miss I miss going downtown, but like yeah. I can go whenever I want. True. You know what I mean? Yeah, if true. I want to, I can go on campus <laughs> and do what though? I don't know. See my friends. Okay, yeah. Like I, I say, what's up? But I don't I don't miss school itself. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't miss like, oh, I have this schedule. I have to go here the, to here. Blah blah. blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean, think about it. You know those excitements you get when, like, let's say your professor didn't show up and oh, you have a free yeah, day, yeah, yeah. Right? Obviously. How sad is that? <laughs> no, if you, if you really bag that shit, how sad is it that you travel, let's say, you commute, yeah, an like, hour. an hour plus, right, yeah. to go to your class, your professor doesn't show up, but you get excited yeah. that they didn't show up. I know. No, I don't think that happens in university anymore because, like, you want your your professor to teach you shit because mm -hmm. you're spending like people don't realize you're spending hella money so every class you miss negative 50 negative 50 not <laughs> like more like negative 200 negative 200 you feel me so i'm like whenever i wanna like i'm i don't i feel lazy i'm always thinking no there's money in it now high school easy even though i didn't skip classes in high school mm -hmm. people were skipping classes but it's free you get to s skip a free class yeah you feel me but in a sense high school isn't free you still pay taxes kind of but like for for me, I think high school 
you you don't really want to skip. Yeah. Like, why would you want to skip? I don't know. I guess For they hang fun. out. I guess they hang out, whatever. Yeah. But like more times, bro, you can just chill with your friends after school. Exactly. Like you have hella time. I know. Right? But I guess it's more rebellious if you do it during class time. <laughs> nah, dead ass. The only times that like, I swear, I swear. Yeah. The only times I ever skipped class uh -huh. was if I was avoiding a test. <laughs> that's the you only avoided time. a test. No, those are the only times I skipped. That's like the worst. Th that's the worst one though. I would rather skip like normal classes than actual. Hey, bro. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Mm -hmm. Most of the times I skipped on the test day. What did they do? Gave me the next day to work on it. Yeah, high school is weird like that. You can just call in sick and they would give you another day. Yeah, you get you get a it's pass. So you get simple. a pass. Yeah. So why wouldn't I? Yeah. Use that to my advantage. I know. You know what I mean? I know. I still haven't figured out the finesses of university because like the whole stigma in university is oh you won't be able to do this in high school or I mean in university mm. if you can do it in high school. But nah, I I'm pretty sure they just told me that it stuck with me and I didn't try anything because mm. I haven't tried anything yet. True. I, see, I seen my friend take out a piece of paper and drop it. <laughs> you feel me on the desk? and he was writing his exam with it but i'm too scared because i like oh there's money in it now i might get expelled i think the best thing you can do if you want to like get away with shit <laughs> yeah. listen 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 y'all yeah. just like make a relationship with your professor oh yeah that's like if you can do that you feel me got got 3000 if, if, if they <laughs> see you yeah i do that <laughs> okay kidding. well don't do that <laughs> I don't I don't condone that part. But like shit, if you want to grind, do your grind, yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? But grind. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but if you have like a relationship with somebody mm, like that, yeah. and they see you, oh wait, he's cheating. Yeah. Nah, I'll let it slide. Exactly. I'll exactly. Slide. And that's everything in life, bro. Yeah. That's one lesson you can take from university mm. or even high school. Yeah. Making relationships mm. or at least like being on acquaintance level with a person yeah. is very valuable. Yeah. Just connections in general. Very valuable. And that's a skill you can take out through your whole life. Yeah. If you have connections without a job, you can still make money. That's the crazy thing. Yeah. Now, remember remember when we're in high school, yeah. people like like Oh, he's the he's the class pet. Oh, he's yeah. teacher's pet. Blah blah. That's the smartest guy. I was always that. Did he not get the greatest the marks best though? Marks. Like, come on, the best you marks. Know what I mean, just because you have to kiss ass a few times, you can sacrifice the the jokes and after. But yeah. Yeah, at the end of the day, you're getting a good you're getting good mark. Mm. So just it's pr all pride. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I think one time. I wanted to be like on a volleyball team before. Yeah. And then all I did was like talk to talk to the, the coach about his laptop yeah, or something. No. I'm like, oh, that's a nice <laughs> no. laptop. The craziest proposition that Carlos got, uh, said was remember our chemistry teacher? Oh, I was you're about like, to finesse you're, that you're shit. Like, you're like, yo, should I join the swimming team? Because she's the coach. So I might get on her good side. <laughs> yo, dead ass. Because fam, I'm a, I'm a fast swimmer. I'm a fast swimmer. I, I could have aced that shit. No lie, you could have done that. Yeah, if I, if I was her best swimmer, yeah. fam. I'm good at swimming, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it, I can work hard at swimming. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. Even if I work hard at chemistry, I probably won't do oh. good. <laughs> so I'll put my energy into swimming, yeah. increase my chemistry <laughs> mark. Come on, bro. Resources, bro. Yeah. No, that was the craziest proposition because you were actually considering it. I could have done it. You're like, yo, yo, the list is right now. Should I sign up? <laughs> I was like, all this for a grade. Okay, but wait, you, you tell me you never done something like that before to get on somebody's good side? Yes, I have. I have. Like for what? Sure. Tell me, tell me. Uh, my grade, I think six or five. I had her two times in a row. Yeah. But the the main thing that she loves was, oh, I love um, coffee crisps. And coffee that's, crisps? That's yeah, I know, I know. The, the driest chocolate bar ever. She was a weird teacher. But I love that teacher just because she treated me so well mm -hmm. from all the other classes because every Halloween... Boom. All the coffee crisps. I didn't even like coffee crisps. Yeah. So this was an easy bag. I'm not even going to eat it. Just give it to her. Boom. <laughs> she gave me A plus on everything. Had her two years in a row. <laughs> and then and then she would tell... She, it, this was perfect because her connection got to my grade 7, grade 8 teacher. Because mm, now okay, okay. she was telling them, oh, Gavin, that kid is That's super good. good. Student. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Boom. I had a Filipino grade 7 teacher. Already a connection. Mm. You feel me? I was on the flag football team for his team. Uh, for grade 8, I was on the basketball team. Won him a championship. Yeah. <laughs> elementary school, if, if you knew me back then, elementary school, that was my, like, prime prime for sports for really sports. yeah yeah because that was basketball that was I, I carried the team to like a championship the okay. first championship yeah. this guy's kobe a lot man. <laughs> this guy's kobe in high school i mean uh, elementary school <laughs> that, that was the first time like i won something by my like yeah I, I not by myself but like i won something mm. like it was like a crazy that was the first time where i was just running aimlessly mm, you know yeah, after yeah. the buzzer goes off yeah I, I was swinging my arms i didn't know what to do <laughs> like i don't think i've ever got that feeling ever again really yeah no 
never taekwondo well, it wasn't the same feeling but that basketball just because i wa- finally won something after i won so why'd you up. quit huh why'd you quit why'd you pressure. like stop too much pressure it, it just didn't become fun to me oh yeah is that how it is do you think that's how it is whenever you're at such a high level there's yeah. more pressure yes all the time because what do you call this filipinos don't grow we always say this and if you're still pursuing a fil- as a filipino High school, uh, high school basketball. Mm. Then, you, then you're kind of crazy still, because not a lot of us. They're not it. tall, you mean? Yeah, because not a lot of us make it. Because after we just go into like, uh, we're singers now. We do fashion now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I me? Mean? We all go in different routes because sports didn't work out. But you never know. Somebody could like, yo, did you know what you could actually grow taller like <laughs> through surgery? Oh yeah, probably. Yao Ming did it. Yeah, no, not Yao Ming. Oh, so I think in Korea okay. and China, yeah, there's actually the surgery you can go through to make your legs longer. Legs longer. Yeah. So what they do when you're younger, mm. or I think even if you're just like a teenager, yeah, you can break. Your shins. What? You can break your shins and then Ew. it will grow longer. Oh, fuck that. Yeah. Fuck so like they, they break it and they do like they a procedure. Add, they, add, they add like an attachment. Yeah, they do a procedure. So when it grows back, it grows like a couple, like two inches, whatever. Yeah. So he grows taller. Oh, nah. Would you want to do that? Do you like your height right now? Hell no. Why would I do that, bro? For height? Do you wish you were taller? Nah, I, I don't really wish I'm taller. You know people who gaslight you? Yeah. You, know, you ever wish you were bigger? <laughs> fucking so, fucking like, what do you skinny mean? ass. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I think, I think whoever you are, like if, if you feel shorter, if you yeah. feel like not the right way or whatever, mm. just do what you can. Yeah. Feel me? Just do what you can and use that as motivation to mm-hmm. try and complete yourself in a way yeah i mean let's say you feel like you're missing a piece Mm -hmm. fill that with something else yeah right let's say i'm I'm a shorter guy but fuck it i'll be the funniest guy you ever meet i was gonna say if you're hella funny yeah if you know your strength just do that yeah even like um there's there's a lot of like short people that are bodybuilders they're d's right and that that makes up for like holy shit that guy's Mm. huge yeah i see a lot of that on tiktok i remember there's like a I think um he's also a Filipino. I think he's like five foot something, but he's mm-hmm. not very tall. But he's yoked. Yeah, like like I'm not touching that guy no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, mighty mouse, yeah, bro. Mighty mouse. The, yeah. But the only reason why I'm I wouldn't want to get big is because I'm into fashion and the clothes wouldn't fit me the same way. Mm. Like I don't want to get too big. You feel me? I don't think you can if you don't try, yeah, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's perfect. Cause yeah. co- all the stuff that I wear is super skinny on me, and mm-hmm. that's that's my my shape. Whenever people are dressing, they don't get they don't get it, but like. The the structure of mm-hmm. your fit is very important. It doesn't even matter what you put on. Yeah. It's like the structure. What do you mean by structure? Like, like break a, it down. The dimensions, I guess. So if you're a super, if you have a really big top mm-hmm. with skinny bottoms, mm-hmm. how, how are you going to look? Like a clown fam. True, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like you got to match it to your body type. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. what would you say for me? Because I have a really I have a really wide frame. Wide frame. But I'm skinny at the same time. All all baggy. And that's what you do Yeah, already. that's what I do already. So, yeah. so you found your dimensions. Mm-hmm. For me, I'm super skinny. The super skinny like... Like suave look works for me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah, because my shoulder, like, yeah. Look, my you look like a fucking cowboy right now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> my shoulders are super wide, but yeah. like, it's weird because I'm I, my torso is a little bit yeah, skinnier. Exactly. So I have this this extra. Yeah, you wear all big. Yeah, yeah I always wear big. Speaking of cowboys, so there's actually a, a new Mandela effect. I don't know if you know this for for cowboys. Yeah. So so I think in 2011 they made a movie called Cowboys vs Aliens. You definitely watched. Oh this. yeah, I remember this movie. I remember this, this movie. Yeah. It's never been Cowboys vs Aliens. It's Cowboys and Aliens. Nah, yes. no, no. Nah. Yes. I remember the poster no. versus no. the big it's VS. The, it's never been that. Swear to you. So there's an article that came out when the movie came out and it's labeled Cowboys, the and, and aliens and aliens. No, <laughs> no, because no. it doesn't make sense. Cause why would somebody watch Cowboys and aliens? They want to see people. Versus. Clashing. Yeah, they it is versus <laughs> that means bro. All the movies coming out at the time. Yeah. They titled it like, um, versus mm-hmm. Freddy versus Jason yeah, yeah. blah 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 versus blah mm-hmm, yeah. right they wouldn't put and you know it's not Freddy versus Jason it's Freddy and Jason no it's not no it's not chill 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 Chill, chill, chill. No, but the Cowboys versus Aliens. I, I I didn't even watch the movie, but I know it was Cowboys versus Aliens. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Come on, look, Aliens versus Monsters. Remember oh, that that yeah. movie? Facts. Wait, is it? Is it? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> aliens. Questioning everything now. Yeah, Monsters versus Aliens. Okay, okay, yeah. Monsters versus Aliens. Yeah, that was a fire <laughs> movie. I love that movie. But yeah. 
But the Cowboys versus Aliens kind of threw me off still. Nah, okay, yeah. That, that one's that one's fucked. I don't remember yeah. that one at all. That one is a cool one I found out about. Do you think do you mm. think we already moved? Okay. <laughs> have you ever heard of what? The everybody is dead theory? Oh, uh, the all of us are dead? Or the no, everyone? Everybody is dead theory. I think have I heard have, about that. Tell me. So there's a theory, right? Yeah. You know how the world was supposed to end in like 2012? 20, yeah, 2012. Everybody was like, oh fuck, we're gonna die, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's a theory uh-huh. that we actually all did die in 2012. Yeah. And life right now, right? You know how people say when they die, uh-huh. their life flashes before their eyes? Mm-hmm. But to them, it flashes and it's almost like they perceive time differently. Oh, yeah. So what if everybody died in 2012 <laughs> yeah. and we're all experiencing life through a flash, mm. right? But this flash feels like however long 80 years right yeah. but really it's just happening within like a millisecond within a millisecond yeah and then somebody's like presses the button and we just all wake up yeah to nothing yo there's this crazy tiktok i saw too okay so there's this there's this lady she was talking about how their her dimensions actually change so her, there's this one mean? time there's one time she was like on her phone right mm-hmm. and she was looking at the time yeah and the time was different from her boyfriend's phone oh, right no. and then they checked the computer the computer was a different time. Yeah. And then they check the clock on the wall. The clock's a different time, right? And they check the alarm clock. Everything's different time. Like, what is going on? What yeah. is going on, right? Uh-huh. So, for some reason, she was checking, like, news and everything. It was it was changed. Like, the dates were crazy. <laughs> so, she thinks, she thinks, this is on TikTok. Yeah. She thinks that we've transcended dimensions or there was, like, a shift in the timeline yeah. and everything's, like, garbanzo beans that's some real movie shit if you turn on the tv and it's like in just now in 2065 yeah yeah bro i would be like what the fuck is going on so the all those mandela effects yeah all of these subtle it's differences just you know what's so crazy about mandela effects though what? every time i see it it's yeah. like it it shocks my brain the first time mm-hmm. and almost as if like my body gets used to that timeline. Yeah. It gets used to like, oh no, that's how it's always been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so fun. I know. Bro. It's like automatically adjusted. Yeah. But you know, you know, they canceled uh daylight savings times. So mm-hmm. when you're talking about the different times, just cause it ruins people's sleep patterns now. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so like, oh, you wake up and it's like, oh, it's fucking one already, but you think it's twelve? Mm-hmm. Nah, they already canceled that. They took it out, right? Yeah. In Canada too though? I think in Canada. But for sure, U.S. Mm, I don't know if they'll do that in Canada just because, like, um, a lot of our provinces, yeah. like, it's super dark. Oh, word. Like, I think if you go to, is it the Yukon? Like, Yukon, Yukon? it's, like, nighttime for, like, yeah. eight, like just eight hours, something crazy. I I hate the winter times when it gets dark really quick because mm-hmm. that's when it's, like, I don't feel productive no more. It's, like, oh, my day's already passed. Mm. Like, boom, day's done. Yeah. Let's relax now. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? Dark you, is weird. You know, um, where was Midsommar based in? Uh, Switzerland. Switzerland. Oh, no, no. It was it Switzerland? I think it's Switzerland. Yeah, I think it's okay, Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. Did you know, like, their sun stays up for... 12 hour like i forgot how long oh, that's but that's something fire. crazy that's like it, it stays it stays super bright to yeah. like nine o'clock no like bright sunshine that's fire but i think it's during like a certain season uh-huh the, and remember in midsummer they talked yeah, about it's, that it's, it's i think oh no no it, the sun does go down mm-hmm. but like it's mostly day would you want okay would you rather have oh, okay like full sunlight all times anytime okay or darkness all times anytime okay this is weird because if you have if you have okay now when i say full sunlight you have to keep in mind it will be fucking hot as shit yeah and beams burning you get me mm-hmm. so you wouldn't even want the sun anymore it's gonna be to that point you have to keep in no mind. i think i would low key. but if it's if no, it's low-key, dark but if it's dark right yeah then you're gonna be colder like it'll be cold. Yeah, so I think sun's the way to go. You if, think sun's you, the way to go? You can, there's no way you can argue dark. Because first of all, your morale is always good. Your productivity. You can make artificial light though. You can, we can make artificial sun. Nah, but like it's no, but different. You, the natural, the natural sunlight and it hits your body, fam. You just feel blessed. No, you can make like you can make. UV light. Yeah, I know, like but that's way too- Okay, first of all, you can't see. It's like it's like dead ass. You're colorblind now because all you're seeing is dark. No, I'm saying for the whole world, bro. Oh, I'm for saying, the whole world. I'm saying for the whole world. Like we don't have a sun anymore. No, I would want a sun. I would want a sun, hundred percent. Then, a, then a fucking no. But we can put another sun in the sky. Feel no, me? But if the sun is always constantly beaming, <laughs> yo, you'll turn like 
to crust. Mm. Like you go, you wouldn't be able to spend outside because the radiation there's is gonna hit. There's always shade. You can. There's always umbrellas. No, you can't. Have, no, listen, listen, run. Gavin. Listen, whoa, listen, whoa. listen. You know how you know how sometimes if you're in Mexico and the yeah. water's still hot. Okay. Because the radiation throughout yeah. the whole day. Now imagine the sun was on for thirty days. Mm -hmm. How would the radiation be? Mm. It would be boiling. We, we don't get any other like rain, nothing. No. There's no there's sun showers. Yeah. It, it's like living on a desert, but it never becomes nighttime. Okay. Loki. I don't know. It I never was, becomes nighttime. I, I was just thinking, I was just thinking cause it's just all everything positive. It's not beaming hot all the time. I thought it was going to be like mild temperature, like 14 degrees, 15 degrees, just sun. That's nah, totally nah, it's not it's not gonna happen. Okay, if we don't take account the weather, what would yeah. you pick? If we don't take out account the weather, the weather, yeah, it's just would you rather have sun with good temperatures or or dark with good temperatures? In the perfect uh, world, <laughs> in a perfect world, yeah. I would choose dark. Whoa, in a perfect crazy. world, no, but like not darkness. I would choose like a sunset. A sunset. In a perfect world, if I can make the world a sunset oh, yeah. at all times, I would do that. Sunset, no, sunset is kind of lame to be honest. I would do that. I would. Sunset's kind of lame. A sun, like a like a mid. That's kind of weird. It's like it's in the between. Like no, oh, you don't get a listen, lot of listen, sun. listen. Might as well commit to full sun. Every before. time, every time you see in a sunset, did yeah. you not have a feeling of euphoria? Eh, it's okay. Like, nah, bro. Trust me. Like, look at a sunset again. I'll be like, oh, that's kind of cool. That shit looks like a painting, bro. Mm. I'll be like, yeah, that's kind of cool. Maybe I'm not like the the icky. No, because when you say sunshine, I I imagine just the sun and no clouds. That's beautiful. That's like every hot I, summer. I don't like that. Because one of my favorite one of my favorite seasons is summer, bro. You're gonna have dark all the time. You're fucking ghosts riding around twenty four seven now. They don't have no more nine to fives. They're on overtime every single day. <laughs> you feel me? I don't know, bro. <laughs> GGs for you, buddy. You want to go I, out in the street dark all the time? No, it's not gonna be dark all the time. It because, is because we can make artificial light. That's what I'm trying to say. God, that's whack. You know that's what I'm trying to say. No, because because. If, okay, look, look. Yeah. If you ever get sick of the sun because it's there, yeah. you can't go ahead and turn off the sun. Yeah, you can. Just go. What the fuck? Are you stupid? Uh, dark out blinds. Dark out blinds. You're yeah, you're going to be spending and... inside though. You're yeah, going to be spending what's, time what's inside. What's wrong with that? Curfing, bro. bro. We can put up, have you seen the, the artificial sun in China? No. You haven't seen that? No. Bro, they put up. Look, I'm going to show you this. Glasses. Look at this. Look at this. Let me see. One trillion dollar artificial sun. China's artificial sun sets a new rec world record. They put it up into the sky, bro. Literally, it lights up the, the world like a sun. Yeah. So that's problem solved if the sun's all, if, okay, if this, there's no sun in the sky. You can put up another one. Okay, then we have to set loopholes because that's a loophole. Because, you know, remember when I said when I'm colorblind, I get to have the sunglasses and you're like, no, no, no. So, uh, no. I don't play fair. No. I don't play you. What? That, that, that goes to me too. What the fuck? You can't have all the rules. <laughs> Is this a fucking minority? No, I'm not a fucking minority here. I don't know, bro. I, no. I just make the rules, man. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's why you can't have me on the bait because you know I would win every single one. What? Are you stupid? Yes? I always win the base. I always win we the base. No, 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 we can't. Pick up the background. I always right win the base, Ram. You know, let's not, let's not no, lie here. Can't. Let's not lie but here. Yeah, without no artificial sun. Without no artificial sun. It would always have to be dark outside. I'm telling you, every single day is nighttime. Nah. Come on, see? I don't know about Come that, on, bro. Let's go, baby. Hashtag I, I, like, I like stars. I like stars. <laughs> I like, I like the yeah, stars. Yeah, for a day, fam. After two days, you're gonna be like, what the fuck, man? Sun come out. Maybe I'm a vampire, bro. Nah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you try to, some vampire yo, shit. Go, try a loophole. I'm a vampire. Like, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> play, play, will. Bam, phantom? Play that shit, bro. Play that shit. I'm gonna come out the house. What is that? <laughs> we need we need the vamp anthem one. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> the oh yeah, but yo, I have one more ghost game before we end it off. But but when we were taking, uh, we were talking about how to sneakily take pictures. I was gonna transition it to it, but you move on way too quick. That's why I gotta be uh uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but this ghost game is like how you and your friend can capture a picture of a ghost, and it's called the picture game. The picture game. Yeah, okay. so we can actually do it. No, nah, I don't. I don't want to okay, do that no, shit. Okay. Like, we can no, like we can do it right now. I feel like nothing's gonna happen. We'll just do that shit at your house, man. Right, okay, so so you need just you and your friend, mm -hmm. two chairs, and a phone with a flash. Okay, right? okay. So when when um you need an empty room and turn it all all the light switches off. Yeah. Right. You and your friend sit uh like this, literally like this, face face to face, mm -hmm. and then you say you open the door and say the door is open. You are welcome. Six times together, right? Mm, yeah. And then all of a sudden, one both of you guys. Take a picture with the flash on. It, it's like a it's like a roulette. So the ghost will either be in your picture 
or in my picture. Oh. So whatever the picture is, the person will start feeling colder because the ghost chose you. Whoa. You're so like possess that person. Yeah, yeah. And if you have to, before anything, like you start feeling cold, yeah. you have to run out the room right away. Like oh, this. Or else. I'm feeling cold, bro. So <laughs> <laughs> or else like you'll get possessed for like the rest of your life. Damn. Wait, yeah. wait. So is this like a, is this a game they people played yeah like is there videos on this stuff yeah every game that i've said on this podcast people have actually played and there's people in the comments that played the the, the blue baby the, game. Blue baby one yeah you ever heard um there's another one you ever heard about the window game the window game no the picture game the window game no no the window game like this one's fucked, what bro. is this what is so, this? there's this game i found this one on reddit right okay people played this before yeah there's a way you can summon like a spirit to your window oh, so uh, they call it the window game right uh, the way to play you have to walk to your window open up the shades open up the whole frame right yeah now you're supposed to think to yourself and really like feel in your heart yeah. to try and summon a spirit to you so what you're supposed to do you stand there i think for like exactly six minutes yeah and then you go to your bed and lie yeah. down right yeah now when you go to your bed you're supposed to shut the door shut the covers, everything. Mm. And you're supposed to sit there and wait and okay. wait. Now, usually it shouldn't work. Okay. Like it should not work on your first try. If it yeah. does, you're special. <laughs> but according to a lot of the players, mm. it takes like the sixth, seventh, eighth try, maybe even the 12th, right? Yeah. The rule though, you can only try doing it yeah. at the end of the month. So mm. if it's either a 31st or a 30th, right? Yeah, yeah. You can only try it on those days. You can uh -huh. never try any other day. Yeah. Now, what's supposed to happen mm -hmm. is when you go back to your bed after shutting the window, you'll hear a knocking on no, your window, right? No, no. You'll hear a knocking, a knocking. <laughs> no. And what you're supposed to do, yeah. that means the game is started. You are not able to uh -huh. go to the window and look. Okay. If you go to the window and look, you'll die. Like on the spot, on you'll the spot, die. Why? You'll die. Now listen, listen, okay. bro. So when you hear the knocking, it's gonna get louder. It's yeah. gonna get louder. It's gonna keep getting louder and louder and louder. And you're gonna feel more and more. It almost affects your mind to where like you're tempted to take a look, right? Okay. You're gonna hear whispers like, open the door, open the door. Yeah. Open the door. Right? Now, eventually we'll stop and you'll be so tempted to go and look at the window oh, no. because it stopped because you want to see if it's still there. Now you have to wait until that period ends and you hear knocking again. So you're going to be you're gonna be uh, rewarded with another round of knocking, bro. It's now like take you this get to play another round. Yeah, it's a whole another round of knocking. <laughs> oh, and this shit will yeah. last until sunlight hits. And you have to keep playing it or yeah. else you're dead. Now, apparently only the player will hear the knocking. Okay. So... Your parents in the other room won't hear it. Uh -huh. Your sister won't hear it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It will just be you. Uh -huh. And you have to wait till the sun rises and then the game is done. Oh my goodness. So it's like, it's almost like a trap. Yeah. I think that's all of these games are, bro. That's a that's a real game though. Like, yeah, like people, people play, play this? Yeah, people play this. People die from it? I don't know, bro. I don't know. That's that's a, that's the whole thing. Like, yeah. you're going to die. You're going to get possessed yeah. something. So the whole the whole point of the game is like, it's baiting you outside. You just can't, you just have to stay in your yeah, room. Yeah, you it's testing like your... Your yeah. temptation. Yeah. That's fucked, man. And I think that's all of these games are. These yeah. games are all just like it's it's almost a ploy, almost yeah. like a trap for you to to explore the dark exactly. the dark realms. It's or all whatever. it's all in your mindset. If you want to do it, yeah, then they'll they'll allow it. They'll they'll let you enter mm. if you want it. But it's all of like faint of heart. If you want to do it, go ahead. That's like um bro, that's like some devil shit, yeah. bro. Yeah. Cause all you hear all the time like the devil will try and tempt you the mm -hmm. devil will try and tempt you yeah. and anytime i think anytime you have that feeling of like temptation yeah. maybe you can call that the devil i know i think i i knew i was so strong in the mind yeah because we keep talking about these um sleep paralysis mm -hmm. so i was so strong in the mind where i was really getting really bad sleep this happened yesterday yeah so i had my chair facing to me and I and I was sleeping straight. Yeah. So I was, you know how it was like you don't get sleep paralysis unless you really think about it. Mm -hmm. So we always we always say it. You have so to wake I, yourself up. Exactly. So I finally got it. So the feeling was when I looked down, I thought I saw my dad pushing down both my knees like this, mm -hmm. like this. So I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, I can't move it. And I yeah. was screaming, screaming, but I wasn't screaming. That's how it usually is. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, I have sleep paralysis. I, cut, I was facing this way. 
I swipe my, my head to the left. Yeah. I see that little black figure. But it's funny because I wasn't scared. I knew what was ha- going to happen already. Mm. So I was kind of like, and the first thing I thought was like you. I don't know why. <laughs> why? But I thought as soon as I thought about you sitting directly in front of me and we're talking about yeah. it. I woke up like I pried my legs like this and mm. they, they clapped. It's like the person who was holding it down, yeah, 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 like released it. But it's like as soon as I thought, like, oh no, this is not real. Yeah, boom, all of it went got, went away. I'm Gavin Savior, y'all. <laughs> Shout, out, man. Shout out, man. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> oh, this guy dreams about me. Nah, oh, what can I say? Okay, what can cut, I say? Cut the podcast. <laughs> what can I say, y'all? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, nah, what are the weird? <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to like call nobody out. But okay. one of the weirdest DMs I got was like, "Yeah, somebody had like a dream about me." <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, yeah, but it's just funny. It's just funny. I could never imagine. Like, I wonder how much people no. dream about you. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just a There's weird thing. There's probably a lot. There's probably a lot. Because I've gotten that too. But I think the most, uh, just off topic real quick, the most random DM I got was, oh, Gavin, can you do a 360 with your hair? Because I want to get that same haircut. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's kind of weird. I got that Like board. a video, yeah, like yeah. a video. You want me to go like this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's it's just a high fade. That's all I get. It's, it's like, how do you do your hair? How do yeah. you do your hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. But yeah, like, no, I feel like pe- a lot of people have dreams because I dream about people too. No, like, I think it's crazy because I dream about people that yeah. I don't even, like, I wouldn't even remember. Yeah. They just pop up, but it's somebody, like, I just saw in high school or, like, exactly. I walked by or, like, somebody, like, an NPC. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I've actually had a, a like select dream where all my friends, like all my group of friends, mm. were in it. Which makes oh, no never? sense. Oh, never. Nah. Yeah, because I would like you, Cher, and Josh. Yeah. I would never have like a group dream of us doing something crazy, but I would have an NPC with me. You feel me? It's Yo, like, I have a, I have a theory for you. What? What if? Does that mean we're main characters? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. What if? That NPC yeah. is a disguise. What do you mean? It's somebody that's not supposed to be in your dream. Oh, it's somebody it's like, that's that's spying on your life. I could believe that. Not like, even because you said it in a weird way. <laughs> it's just because no, like, it's like no, a, that makes sense. It's like a you, you ever heard like a dream eater before? Yes, yes. Like somebody that like hijacked your dream. Yeah, yeah. So maybe that random person mm-hmm. is in a disguise to try and like manipulate you. Yeah. All I'm thinking is like they have a NPC mansion and then when it comes nighttime, they all hook them up to like a, a generator. And it's like, all right, <laughs> who, whose dream are we going into tonight, boys? <laughs> and then they fuck around and give us nightmares. That's where nightmares come from. Oh, that could nightmares, be. Nightmares, nightmares. N, N, NPC. <laughs> Capital N. <laughs> what the? Oh, oh. <laughs> the Nightmare People Club. Oh. NPC. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is lame as fuck, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. 100% people will believe you know. <laughs> MP, the Nightmare People Club. Nightmare. <laughs> you got the buttons and shit. You want to join my club? <laughs> Head ass. I went into there. Yeah. I right, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Jumper Zone Podcast. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, yes, all that good stuff. Hit the links in our bio. No, uh, make sure to listen to Apple, Spotify, all that. And yeah. Oh, check out my new podcast if you haven't already. Mm. Can't tell me podcast. Can't We're doing debates me. on that. So yep. come check that out. I have guests on there every single episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jumper Jump out. Deuces.